I'd like to bring up the speed on how our progress is uh, happening. Uh, one thing we did have was a great day putting in the subfloor. I'd love to show you the videos of uh, technical difficulty. I lost them. But anyways, uh, tomorrow we head over to the States, pick up the two countertops and the kitchen stove, and we should be close to getting done. Uh, the next clip I'd like to show you is how I wet sponge uh, drywall mud. That means no dust, no sanding. And the next thing I'd like to show you is uh, Gary and I installing the cabinets today. We did a great job that went smoothly, or relatively smoothly, thanks to Joanne's help and planning and expertise. But uh, also, uh, I'd like to show you the base cabinets are set up. So, on with the show. What I do is I just get some water, and you'll see there's two sides to this sponge. There's a rough side, like acts like sandpaper, and then a smooth side. What I do is I start, because this is kind of rough here, what I do is I get the rough side, and don't worry about the water, it'll dry. And stink. I just get that rough sand like that, move it more water, and you can see. And there's no dust run. That's how you mud it. Nice and smooth. There. Okay, as you can see, the uh, walls have all been plastered, mudded. Um, no, we haven't moved the bottom wire yet. But uh, everything's in, and the mudding's all done. Is We're looking for bad spots, so I can fix them before we paint tomorrow. So tomorrow's painting day. And then Tuesday we put the floor in. As you can see, we have some, found some bad mud spots, so I've touched them up. Well, we'll let them dry a bit, and tomorrow I'll fix them up just before they... There we go. Okay, what we're doing here now, we've got to cut this trim out to fit the 30-inch cupboard, so... Mention the paint job. Beautiful paint job done by Nana, as you can see. Yeah. Nice mocha color. Color. Also show the uh, subfloor that we did. Oh, yes, very nice subfloor. that I had of it. Greg, Greg and I did the subfloor yesterday. It looks very nice. Oh, look, there's our kitchen cap. Uh, I believe that is the base for the sink right there. Very nice, very nice. And all our nice subfloor is all in. All our plugs are now in, as you can see. We moved the stove plug over, as you can see. Very nice. So let's get these cabinets up there. We just chiseled that frame out. Gary's going to put the test in for our first cabinet, see how it fits. You line me up on the other side. It's got to go down a bit, probably an inch. There you go. How's it to the wall? Well, my goodness gracious. How's that? Good. We well, did it. There you go. I'll get your drill. Let's go. We were getting our first cabinet up. All leveled out secure looking good and once uh, Greg's done putting the last two uh, screws in I'll be putting the doors back on what do you think Greg looking good well for $25 each screw I think we're saving a few bucks so we're just putting the doors back on this first cabinet and then we move on to the second cabinet We've got five uh, upper cabinets to install today. And okay, Gary just uh, finished putting on the doors, uh, and he's going to give it a close here now just to test it to see if it works. And look at that. Perfect. A hundred bucks they wanted to put that up. What did it take us, Gary? About 20 minutes? Eh, not even. Yeah. Okay, now we've got both sets of cupboards up on this wall. And now on where the fridge and stove is going to go, where the bulkhead was removed, we're going to put the final two cabinets which are right here. Okay, there's we've got the uh, first cupboard up on the stove side 
And here's the second one. We're ready. We have to clamp it to that one. And then screw it in the wall. Well, as you can see, we're moving along here. We're having success. One for the fridge, between the fridge and stove. And the next one, we've got to cut it out for the microwave and whatnot. But Gary's working away here, uh, getting the last set of upper cabinets ready. And we finally ran into a few uh, design problems here. And if it hadn't been for our professional designer here, Joanne, we would have been, well, we were losing it because Joanne's got all the measurements. She knows the uh, each cabinet. And she went home and left us here on her own. And uh, she came back to save us. Right, Gary? Nana knows her shit. So try that one there. All right, I'll cut that out then. No, you try measure it again and make sure. Measure it again. Okay. Here we have Greg uh, doing all the measurements, getting this final uh, cabinet in. We have to cut out a hole in the back to get that uh, receptacle for the microwave. Greg, how are things going? Good. Just looking for my drill. Oh, nice cabinets. Yeah. Oh. All right.